So a little bit more notes on Matt Ryan, uh, just some bullet points. So this, the, I'm, just, I'm just reading a tweet here. It says, so the Colts added Matt Ryan, lost Carson Wentz, weren't forced to extend Ryan's deal. I mean, that's okay, but that just means we have a band-aid quarterback. We might get rid of him in however long. Gained a third, that may be a second. Made Atlanta eat the $40.5 million dead cap, which is the most in NFL history, which we said. And then lowered Ryan's 2022 cap hit to $28 million, which is less than Carson Wentz. Now, I want to say something off that. I saw some other tweets that are like, they're like praising Chris Ballard for like making this move. And I don't think it, it, we shouldn't praise the guy. All he, all he did right here is fix a crazy big mistake that they made last offseason by giving up a bunch of stuff for Carson Wentz. So I don't think this is a, I don't think Chris Ballard deserves any praise for doing anything with Matt Ryan because... Yeah. It shouldn't have happened. Like, we shouldn't have been to this point that we need this old quarterback. Like, this isn't a crazy, like, I'm okay with this deal, and I think Matt Ryan will do fine, but I don't think this solves anything for the Colts, like, long-term. This is a a Phillip Rivers. Matt, how many years do you think Matt Ryan will last? I know. That's, th- that's a I'm great saying, question, too. I'm saying me. I think I think at the, at the least. He's a 36-year-old quarterback, man. You know, like. At least two. At least two. The thing is, you got to look at, we I mean, like more than one, if it's more than one, we're in a gray spot compared to the last six years. I'm going to say that. Let's look at this. Hold on. How old, how old's, uh, Rogers? Rogers. I want to say it's like, I want to say third. Mind you, Carson Wentz was 29. So we went from a 29 year old to a 36 and Matt Ryan will be 37 by week Think about one this, next though. year. Aaron Rodgers is 38. So... But how many years does Aaron Rodgers have left? I think Aaron Rodgers got man, he's got three in the tank at least. Yeah, I say three uh, and five, as long as he stays healthy. Five. Um, unless something crazy happens, but but my Matt point, Ryan, my I point mean, is this: it doesn't it doesn't solve anything. Like it's fine right now, but what happens next off season or in two off seasons? The Colts are right back square one of needing a quarterback. Like, and that's why that's why for one. This is probably what they're thinking, okay? This is honestly probably the guy what they're thinking. They got someone they're looking at in the draft. There's got to be somebody. Or not even just just not even just this draft, but in the future. Yeah. We got Sam Ellinger. He's a I mean, he's not even that bad, I don't think. I think he's someone that is very he could be a band-aid quarterback, I guess, in the future, like if we need him to go a year like Kobe Brissett, but uh Wait, who did you say? I didn't hear the name that you said. Ellinger. Okay. He could be like the Brissett that we that we had. I'm not saying that he's worse or better than Brissett because we don't know, but I'm saying like Brissett was someone that could come in and do what he has to do to at least make it look like we're playing football. Yeah. But, um, but we don't want someone going in there that just. I mean, this sounds bad, but Carson Wentz was just a liability. That was what it was. Carson Wentz was a liability. I think he was a liability. I, I, he wasn't until he was. If that makes any sense. That, yeah. That, it's, he was not a liability until he wanted to so- just do something stupid. Like, yeah. he balled out, and then it makes no sense to be able to throw 70 yards downfield and then the next play throw a left-handed pick six. Like, what I'm trying to say is he's – I think he has the room to grow. I think he can be the quarterback that he wants to be. But the problem is is that he's just not – he wasn't going to do it here. That was we – we didn't want him.